Welcome to the Crimson Engine. My name is Rubidium. Today we are looking at big sources. You might notice that the framing today is wider than usual, taller than usual, and to get that, I need a big source. If you've caught any of the Masterclass videos, uh, these have sort of become the um, gold standard for two camera lighting. You know, Werner Herzog one, I'm gonna review in a couple of weeks. The Ron Howard one I've watched, which is excellent. And if you see the BTS of these, um, they have a six by six frame um, with lights coming through it that gives the talent this beautiful, big, soft source um, that's then either bounced or offset in some other way. Now, uh, there are, of course, um, six by six frames that you can go out and get from people like Matthews. They're incredibly expensive, they're incredibly heavy, they take two people to set up. A lot of people, including myself, have done our own DIY version of these six by sixes with PVC and piping. Um, you can get these from Home Depot and sort of bash them together, but the problem is that they are still really large to transport. They don't, if you don't build them to collapse, they're still six foot long, so they won't fit in a lot of cars. They come apart um, when the wind blows or something goes wrong, even if they fall over. It's very hard to mount them. There's no natural mounting points. The PVC is a lot weaker than any clamp or grip that you put on them. And they really just end up looking terrible if you're in front of a client or just not really working. So in Teletech, whose LC120 I often use as a key, um, have got into the frames business. They've introduced these awesome new products called the Fast Frames, which are collapsible aluminum frames that come in a um, high quality nylon bag, very minimal assembly. They pop out into a frame the size that you want. Um, this one is a six by 5.6 foot um, frame. Uh, it comes with uh, this diffusion fabric. It also comes which I've never seen before, this huge egg crate, which lets you take the spill out of such a huge light source um, and direct it onto your talent without getting it all over the background. If six by five and a half feet is too big for you still, they also sell a five by 3.2 feet version, uh, which is even more convenient, packs up even smaller as you see here. And you actually leave the, um, either the silver bounce or the diffusion on the frame as you pack it up. So you don't need to mess around with the Velcro um, if you know what you want. It packs up into this tiny little bag that you can throw over your shoulder and then when you get to set, it takes 10 seconds to pull out, um, expand, unscrew. Right here I have the 6.56, um, basically just sitting on the floor. As you can see behind, I have it mounted to the same C-stand as the lights. I have three one by ones here um, pushing through it. Uh, gives this wonderful diffused focused light um, on your subject that's big enough for me to you know stand up in if i had enough room to do that um, or illuminate two or three or four people all still controlled by one c stand so i don't have to i don't have to have it on different stands and move it around separately um, it all works from one stand um, all powered out of the wall and if you crank this up i can get a really punchy um, light from it while still being really huge that is the Intellitech uh, Fast Frames 6.56 and 5.32 frames here, as you see here. I'll do a few more tests with them outside, um, but they're a really great affordable product for a filmmaker um, on a budget to get a really professional result. Thanks very much for watching, guys. Uh, thank you to Intellitech for the frames. Uh, keep watching for more reviews, and I will see you next time.